Introduction Every day Rama's mother bought two liters of milk. However, today some guests are coming for dinner. She will be preparing custard. Therefore, she bought four liters of milk from the milk booth. How do we measure liquids? Let us find out in this lesson today. Introduction Every day Rama's mother bought two liters of milk. However, today some guests are coming for dinner. She will be preparing custard. Therefore, she bought four liters of milk from the milk booth. How do we measure liquids? Let us find out in this lesson today. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Compare capacity Measure capacity Capacity Rama was playing in the garden. He saw three holes in the playground. He decided to fill them with water. Hole A gets filled with five mugs of water. Hole B gets filled with seven mugs of water. And hole C gets filled with three mugs of water. Can you tell which is the biggest hole? <laughs> yes, hole B is the biggest hole. Capacity of containers Maria pours one glass of water in her jug. It looks like this. When John pours one glass of water in his jug, it looks like this. Maria thinks she will have to pour around two glasses of water to fill the jug, while John thinks he will have to pour one glass of water to fill his jug. Can you tell whose jug holds more water? Yes, you are right. Maria's jug holds more water. Capacity of the bottles There are two pots of same size. Naima and Nasim have to fill each pot with colored water. They use their own bottles to fill the pots. Naima's pot gets filled with 16 bottles of water while Nasim's pot gets filled with 8 bottles of water. We can say that Naima's bottle can hold half times as much water as Nasim's bottle. Comparison Rama was out on picnic. He felt thirsty. He went to a shop and purchased one liter bottle of water. This bottle can hold one liter of water. There were other bottles of different capacity. This one held half liter and that one held two liters of water. The word liter is used to denote the capacity of a liquid. We will now pour water from this bottle in a vessel. We have seen that one liter water do not fill this vessel. This vessel holds more than one liter of water. Similarly, pour water from the bottle in these vessels. They also hold more than one liter of water. Measurement Now let us pour milk from one liter bottle in this bowl. We have seen that milk is still there in the bottle. This means this bowl holds less than one liter of milk. Similarly, this pan holds less than one liter of milk. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. This means 1000 milliliters make one liter. Milliliters can also be written as ml. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Capacity is the amount of liquid a container can hold. The word liter is used to measure the capacity of a liquid. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliters or 1000 milliliter is equal to one liter.